Good morning. Welcome back to Paz Pa 2. I have the vendor out at Monkish Park, um, the farmer's market, and I like this title. Right, honey? That's Timmy right there. <laughs> So, uh, Timmy, tell us all about um, Right Honey. Uh, we are a husband and wife team. We're, we're the beekeepers. I am a retired teacher, and he's retired from the off field, and this is what we do full time, and it keeps us out of trouble. <laughs> so, we, we just really enjoy working with honeybees, and we enjoy coming to the farmer's market and, and meeting the people here. It's just a wonderful, wonderful job for us. Okay, where, where are you getting the title from? Because it's a W R I G H T right. That is correct. We live in Wright, Louisiana. Wright is in between Kaplan and Gaydon along Highway 14. It's a nice little drive. If you're out in the country, you want to take a little ride down there sometime, you'll go through Abbeville and then Kaplan and all the way to Gaydon, where yeah. the Duck Festival is. That's true. That's true. Michelle, what is that you're holding there in your hand? Um, Timmy, what this is that? Yeah, it's a beautiful candle. Look at that. These are made out of beeswax. These are beeswax candles. And beeswax, can I make them all myself. Beeswax candles are air purifiers. They don't put a smell into the air, but they clean the air. It has something to do with the ions, the positive and the negative ions, but that's way above my pay scale. So I, I, I just know they work. All right. They're a wonderful product. Yeah, so how long, that, um, how long has it been that you've been doing this? We have been bottling and marketing honey for about 15 or 20 years now. Uh, but when I retired, my husband decided I needed more to do. So he ramped up the, the number of beehives we have. Now we're up into the hundreds. And uh, we're just, it, it's just a fun activity, but it's a lot of work. I bet it is. I bet it is. But you know what? If you enjoy it, it doesn't feel like work. Absolutely. So what, a, what else do you have? Um, is there anything else that I'm missing outside of the candles that you have there? Jimmy the found a book. Last year, you know, retired school teacher, you're always trying to educate. So last year, I wrote a little uh, book called Marigold the Honeybee. And it's a good combination of fact and fiction. So it teaches the children about honeybees while they're following Marigold on her first day of foraging in South Louisiana. And what makes it really special is that one of my former students is the illustrator of the book. His name is Shane Stelly. So he's from uh, South of Kaplan also. Amazing. What you got now, Michelle? There's also cream honey besides the, you know, the standard traditional um, honey, yeah. containers of honey. They we, have cream honey. This is delicious. We do a cream honey. Cream honey. It's just, uh, we put our honey in a big vat that we have and it spins and it cools for about four days and then we add cinnamon to it or pecans and it becomes a spread. So, it, you know, it's just a different way of eating honey. If you put it in the in a warm car on a, a hot day, it's going to turn back into honey. So all it is is honey and pecans or honey and cinnamon. It's just a different way of eating honey. It's great. It's a great product. People love it. Amazing, amazing. I like this. Great idea, especially with the creamed honey. I can just imagine all the things that I could do with that. You know, like even great. With I'll send I'll send you some. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well see, I'm supposed to be dieting in this year of twenty twenty three. Well, <laughs> but good for you now. Go ahead. If you if you can get if you can get real honey that hasn't been heated or processed uh, and you get them here at the farmer's market, you know, so there's a big difference in the honey you buy at the big markets or the honey that you buy at farmer's markets because this comes right out of the hive. We even sell comb honey. I don't know if anybody uh, has familiar with that, but comb honey comes right out of the hive also. And that's the honey the way the bees eat it, right out of the comb. So it's a, it's a neat little product too. All right, I'm smitten. I like it. I like it. I like it. And that's right, honey, out there at the farmer's market at Monkish Park. And wow, that's a nice, addi nice addition to the park, Michelle. I like that. I like that. all the, the candles. I'm, you know, because it's not just honey, but there's a benefit most of You know, there's benefits Correct. Like because you're dealing with the original product. Amazing. That's right. right. Timmy, we thank that's you right. very, very much. What's that? <laughs> I said, that's right. <laughs> right, honey. <laughs>
to me, we thank you very much, very, very much. Michelle, as always, Michelle McFadden of the Farmers Market at Monkish Park. Well, I'll talk to you later, of course. Have a great day. Bye-bye.